since this question is focused on data mining, well, we just really need to understand what the purpose of data mining is. So if there's one thing to remember about data mining for the CPA exam, it's that the purpose is to identify unknown information from data that has been collected by a company. So you've probably heard the term big data, and this basically just means that now more than ever, companies have systems that collect data and they just keep collecting and collecting. But unless somebody steps back and analyzes this data, well, then the data can't be used to make informed business decisions. So that is why you're seeing a new type of role being developed in a company, and these are called data analysts. And what they're doing is they're taking data that's been collected, whether over the last year or the last 10 years, and then they're analyzing it, right? And what they're doing is they're trying to identify patterns or trends in this data that the company could then use to make more informed business decisions. And then ultimately, that will help them, you know, have a basis for why they're doing what they're doing. For example, the company could have a pricing strategy that is based off of, you know, what they feel is the right pricing strategy. But if somebody went back and looked at the data, well, they might be able to identify a pricing strategy that makes more sense based on the patterns and trends of historical revenue or sales data, right? So that's how data mining can be very important and critical for a company to perform, right? Because ultimately, Again, the main purpose is to identify unknown information. And really, we're just talking about patterns and trends from data that can be used to make decisions in a business. So the correct answer is going to be previously unknown information, right? That's the pattern and trends that I'm talking about. So for this question, it's just key to understand the definitions of these other IT terms, right? We already talked about data mining. Now let's go through the incorrect options and just make sure we understand the definitions. So data structure is incorrect because this focuses more on the relationship of data across an organization and how it would be stored, right? So that's why that's incorrect. Artificial intelligence, which has an acronym of AI, you've probably heard about it, is when machines make decisions and perform tasks similar to how humans would. So AI would use various data inputs and information to make these decisions. Now those decisions are gonna be based on code or instructions that were written by some developer, right? So that's why that option's incorrect. And then lastly, we have standard query reporting. So standard query reporting is really simple. So a company has a system, and basically when they run a standard query, they're just requesting data from the stored system. So basically they say, okay, I want to run sales transactions for last year. Well, we would submit that standard query and we would get a report that has all the sales transactions from last year, right? There's no real analysis being done here. It's just more of a request for data. So that's why that option is incorrect.